Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Avorian, and I'm here with Togi. Hello! And this is our new Let's Play series, and it's going to be, I'm going to call it semi-cooperative. So for example, we both started in the same area. Togi's flying right there, up and down. And um, we're going to hopefully do some things over time together, like maybe fight some pirates or go out deep and hunt together, things like that. Uh, but at the same time, we're going to do a lot of solo things. So there will be episodes without Togi. Uh, probably actually more t episodes without Togi than there are with Togi. But it will be kind of on and off. And it's a private server. So it's just him and I. And we won't have to worry about, you know, we have to give up or stop the series or whatever. Because of the server crashing too much or performance issues. Because that shouldn't be much of an issue because it's just him and I. So, yeah. I don't know if you want to add anything. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go mining then. Uh, we're not going to do the tutorial because the tutorial is kind of boring. And we've done it before. Yeah, I've done it multiple times. Actually, it's probably one of the least annoying tutorials though out there. And it, it kind of, you know, you like the steps that you take are kind of the steps that you're going to take anyways. If you know what yeah, I mean. So it's introduced you to the start. Yeah. Anyway. So it's not so bad, but I do recommend it if you guys check up here somewhere. Oh yeah, there you go. And uh, on server, on uh, if you play single player, I think it always pops up. But if you play on a server, it doesn't pop up. So you have to go searching. Yeah. So we're looking for asteroids. This is an interesting place because I see there some, but any. yeah, there is none. <laughs> yeah, there's probably insane amount. It's a very it is. There's almost fifteen hundred asteroids there. Oh, they're further out. I can see you suddenly. Yeah, I'm going towards the shipyard myself. Um, so the shipyard, we have a new feature here. Uh, it's a mod, and you can set your home world here. And we're happy uh, that you're around, blah, 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 and that's it. Um, basically, it's a mod that lets you set your home world. But we didn't want it as simple as you could set your home world anywhere. What you have to do is you have to have 50,000 uh, K rep with the faction so your starting faction i guess you would get that much uh just fifty thousand. Seventy five. 75 yeah we start with 75 i guess but i think all the others it's random but probably not as high i hope so yeah i really hope we don't end up getting you know that high because i think it'd be fun to earn that right yeah like it, if let's say if it is maybe we can ask the guy to modify it to say or oh, make it a million uh, not a million a million uh, 100k or something yeah yeah and we can do that ourselves we don't need him to modify it. i could do that in a heartbeat oh my first uh ore that i'm going to is titanium oh <laughs> i found something yeah only iron here it's right beside this. Oh, this is a ship. I like how some of these ships look like stations. <laughs> so, like, they look no, like uh, they would be like early man made human stations. They look like they're almost like big satellite dishes or not satellite, but yeah, like space satellites. The shape of them. Yeah, and then they, it was what they were, and then they stuck some big ass thrusters on it. Went, huh, it's a ship yeah. Man. Which is kind of one of the early designs that we see when we build long-range ships is it would look more like a satellite with basically thrusters thrown on it. I mean, for the level of technology we've got now, yeah, it would be something like that for sending out to deep space. Yeah. Like if we do a Mars mission or whatever. You know, we have... What is those... Um, you know we have two probes out. What are they called again? I forget their names. They're the famous probes we've Voyager? sent out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though you know those things are insane far away, right? Like beyond far away. Yeah, one of them made it out of the heliosphere. Yeah, and I looked at like the math and everything on that. It's just what the heck. Uh, on the NASA site, you can see like information on it. Like they they do data dumps and stuff like that too. But. Uh, I was just like, damn, like I never really paid attention that much. I knew they were out there far, but didn't realize they were that far. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they're crazy. I mean, that one that's outside of the Heliosphere, that's the furthest we've ever gone. 
And I yeah. think they said it's nuclear batteries got a number of years left on it. Yeah, they have even a countdown of like, I forget how many years, but it legitimately has a countdown timer kind of on the battery usage and shows you how much power it's using and things like that. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, because now it's outside of the influence of the sun, it can't get any solar power or anything. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Now, I wonder, does it get any solar power at all, or, like, none at all? No. Now that it's that far out, there's none, nothing at all. So It would, it would just be whatever um, radiation there is out there. That is crazy. They can't take any sort of... I don't think they can transmit any kind of f photos or anything like that. I think it was that old anyway. I don't think it did cameras. Uh, I think it was just more like data. Yeah, yeah. But it's crazy though to think that we can send data and it's really hard. They have all this. I think they have to have multiple satellite dishes pointed to it and then they basically clear it up with that. Like they, they try to you know work and clear the background with using multiple points. But uh, it's just it's amazing to think that we can even retrieve even a wee bit of data like that. What I would love to see next is like a much bigger one going out that far, but dropping off relay satellites along the way. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. And then one relay breaks. Well, the, it would be redundant anyways. Even if a relay breaks, it should be able, one relay should communicate with the other relay. Like they should put it on an average of like, say, the communication can do up to three in like in distance to be enough to still transmit say some video or footage or whatever or photos and that kind of data but you can have two of them break during that time i guess but um if you go that far like what about gravity well it's not so much gravity it's the case of will there be another planet or a comet or something that's going to go in its path at some point oh there would be for sure but i just wonder like the gravity pull right like period could it throw like the one goes out further but there's a different gravitational field from one to the other you know what i mean that it would end up not really helping them because it would get out of the get out of its influence basically being useful i don't know uh, well, I mean, gravity that far out from the sun should be considerably less. I guess there's nothing else out there that would be big enough to gr create a, a field. So. Yeah, well, yeah, once once you pass the last planet, um, you're just getting further and further away with lower and lower amounts of gravity. Yeah. Sweet, anyways. But that was the point. The heliosphere was the last point where there's any influence from the sun whatsoever. Oh, is that why they call it the heliosphere? Whatever? Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it was actually heliosphere, but it's something along those lines. Yeah, yeah. But that marks the border of the the influence. Yes, yeah, it's, it's where the last particles from this, our sun, our, our star, actually reach. Oh, that is cool. I think they said it, like, it varies by a few kilometers. Like, it, you know, if Oh, yeah. The intense burst, then it can get out a bit, but Effectively, it's beyond that now. Very cool. So yeah, we're mining here. Um, I guess we could build a ship here in a second. I really don't need iron, but I thought, hey, I'll mine iron as well, too. I should probably think about building my ship. Yeah, I'm thinking about that, too. I mean, I had enough titanium for the first asteroid I mined, but... It was 750 perfectly. Oh, look at that. Oh, We're getting yeah, distress right. signals and everything now. Oh, yeah. There's pirates. In our system right now? Yep. Why don't I see them? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, uh, I do. Red ones. Oh, man. I'm so far away. Oh, maybe I was clicking the wrong one, actually. 12k away. I guess it's better to hit them now than hit them when we have a ship that they one shot. <laughs> They'll one shot this, but we won't I lose anything. I they'll one shot this. We're, we're going to see if they uh, shoot or not when I go near them here. 
Watch they've coded it so it's like dedicated, like they just like directly stop what they're doing and go for you. I think if you're closer than the things that other things that are shooting them, they will go for you. I feel like no one's winning against the pirate, so I'm being shot at. You definitely don't do any damage to these pirates when you have mining lasers and nothing else on a drone. These pirate ships are actually pretty cool because you could, if you're good enough at it, you can actually park right under it, like behind the uh, the engine, and they can't hit you. <laughs> oh, they're finally taking this pirate out. Oh, I got my first spring green color. Oh, I got owned. There was a delay too of my destruction. I'm like, whoa, I can't move all of a sudden. And then boom, it blows up. Oh, I just, th did I hear you too? Oh, you did hear you. You died too? No, I was next to that starting station. I just built my ship. Ah. Did you leave it there or that is your ship? Well, I uh, guess that is your ship. ship. I'm in. Please don't call it, tell me you called it ship or Togi 1. Togi 1. That's actually probably a better idea because then you know like it's your ship or my ship or whatever. Wow, it's so far away. Oh, I got nothing for it. So you lose it when you die, I guess. You're the rep. Yeah, probably. It was like I never even hit him before. makes you feel any better. I didn't get a module for it. Oh, it's not really about that. It's just I wanted to get a... I want to get the credits at the end of it. Oh, you're brave. <laughs> like, I keep oh, getting hit no! by these friendly ones. I died again like an idiot. You say I'm brave, but I think the, the word you're looking stupid. for was stupid. Oh, I've taken a fair bit of damage. But you have one more pirate to go. I think I've taken more damage from the friendly ones shooting me as I pass through their shots. <laughs> I think that's actually how I died. I'm not 100% sure. Freaking noisy neighborhood. This is what it's like to live in the gangster area. I'm glad you're hardly doing any damage because I'll actually get all the way back there and actually shoot it. <laughs> Just once. I got three rep. Oh, what is that? I saw a module. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. come off of me, I think. I think that's one of my guns. Go for it, King! Go for it! Go for it! Oh, it doesn't own it. It says it's reserved for somebody else. Ah. Uh. Fa! <laughs> you die again! Uh, there's no way I'm winning against those guys. I can't believe I guard again. <laughs> okay, let's build a ship. You need a ship. 
Well, it's not like it's going to help me much. What's the drone? Drone has one hull. <laughs> okay. Kane zero one. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a small Ooh, ship. I got three modules then. Oh, that's just rude. Uh, I lost two turrets there. How many credits did you get or have they given it out yet? I uh, haven't given it yet. Uh, oh, I got 8, it. 8,000. 8,560 and I got 3,000 uh, faction. Oh, so you still got plenty for it then. Yeah, I guess I just didn't get, like, it didn't just show me the kill or whatever on it, but I guess it knew I still helped. Did you get any money? Oh, no, that's because they drop it. So maybe, yeah. I guess I still got it then, yeah. Okay, so when well, we're my building, is I lost both my mining turrets. Well, you were able to loot them again, though, no? Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully, you're supposed to be able to loot everything. So, well, I keep flying through this module and it's not picking me up. So oh. maybe, maybe you have to wait because maybe the uh, the pirates have first dibs on it. <laughs> so you might oh, have to maybe. wait. A couple... Yeah, because that's how it works, I think. So you might have to wait a couple of minutes. Ooh, I got an exceptional shield booster, an uh, uncommon shield booster, and a radar upgrade. But I did not get my turrets back. So I now have no mining turrets at all. That makes me feel... I don't know. What's another word for excited? <laughs> oh. The word you're looking for is, you're a dick. That's a sentence. Thanks. Tell everyone I'm retarded, why don't you? Okay. Oh, did I use... Keep using the wrong materials. Ah, uh, just another shield thing. Do, do, do. And then what I'll do is actually I'll put. You know what? There's a, probably a command to select block. Is there a pick block? Bit pick block type or anything like that? I don't think so, but maybe there is. What do you mean pick? Block? So, like, I'm working on hull, but I have thrusters already on. Can I, like, somehow click the thrusters to start placing thrusters again? Uh, I don't think so. That would be kind of nice. Okay, and then we'll put our mining lasers on here. There you go. Very cool looking. And then we're going to need uh, more Ooh, crew. Oh, the Zostan have appeared. Uh-oh. They're not hostile to us unless we shoot. So, you died or? <laughs> I haven't died, but I may as well have because I got no mining turret. Actually, did I get enough? Oh, no, I didn't even get enough yet. Oh, yeah, crew is five now. Do I need this one on the bottom? Does it make that much of a difference? No, I didn't. Okay, there you go. Makes me wonder if this makes a difference. Oh. That might have been the the point where it made a difference. Okay. There we go. So there's our ship. Um, wait, did I accidentally delete or I guess I did or I didn't place it? I don't know. There you go. So there's our ship. It's tiny. Very tiny. It has very little hull. 16 HP. But uh, should work decently. There you go. This ship is a little more stronger than the last one. 
It's got 16 Dang. HP. Um, that shield booster I picked up, 187,000 credits. Oh my, what the? So you don't need money. Nope, and I can buy me some new turrets. Hey, would you like to buy those laser turrets? 187... Uh... <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. Hire crew. We need five, I guess. There you go. Wait, did I get five or one? I think... Oh, no, I guess I got them. Oh, maybe there was four left. I don't know. Anyways, there you go. Crew in there. Has the auto assigned, so we don't even have to deal with them right now. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know I had a battery booster. Cool. So, let's look at my speed now. 523. That's not bad. Oh, you know what we're missing? Uh, da, 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 da. This is actually a pretty important block. Without it, you're kind of screwing yourself. Uh, field... Now they've nerfed this so it's not even as powerful as it used to be, but it's still a, a pretty, you know, important block to have. So we'll add it in. I'm gonna add just two of them for fun. Why not? But, oh crap. Might have to add two anyways. Uh, let's put it underneath then. There we go. And that protects it all. Let's just double check. We can pick it again here and it should go blue. Supposed to go blue. Weird. Okay, there you go. It's just, I think, a visual bug more than anything, but. I'm not gonna fight pirates because I don't want to die already. I don't want to become a togi. Actually, you know what? We can fight pirates. We just use our gun and nothing else. There you go. I think we can't... Are you staying well back? No, I decided to be an idiot. I'm going in. <laughs> I see two purples. I don't know which one's you. Uh, the two purples aren't me. Oh, okay. That's them. <laughs> I see you, though, heading towards them. Oh, yeah. Oh, one's down. Oh, we're not going to make it, or at least I won't make it. Maybe I'll make it. Well, unless you kill it. Well, now I'm not going to make it. Togi. Well, that's dick move, dude. You could have let me had a shot in. Now I'm not going to get any of the credits or anything. You should do. How I, could I? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't hit it. Because it wasn't there. <laughs> Oh, no, you well, picked like up I that green thing. You know, I wanted the credits. I didn't want the green stuff. <laughs> I bet it's worth more than the credits. I, I still wanted the rep, though. Togi, Ooh. he doesn't know how to play What's cooperatively. I thought you were shooting another ship, then. It might be in a second. Ooh. <laughs> What are you shooting my trash for, son? Hey, have you got two cannons? Yeah. You only have you only have one cannon? No, just one's on cooldown. Oh, I don't have cooldowns on mine, so you're shooting very close to me. <laughs> No, you got close to where I was shooting. Yes, I got that module. Oh, that one's definitely yours. Damn it. Ah. Oh, it's a turret as well. There you go. What did I get? Oh, I got crap. Engine upgrade, radar upgrade, and uh, cargo upgrade. Yeah, I can hold 99 cargo. I just only need basically one gigawatt of power. <laughs> Oh, 
freaking Togi. I feel like he cheated the ship and didn't just build this during the Let's Play. Of course I didn't just build it during the Let's Play. This is one of the designs I built that you kept saying, build a design in advance. Look how small I am. <laughs> <laughs> you are kind of tiny. I think that's roughly the size that I was previously. Maybe a little smaller. I have to admit though, this is this ship loves to drift. Oh yeah, you're a drifter. Oh yeah. This ship loves to f flight, spin around. fly pretty fast, yeah, and stay without any problem. Yeah. yeah. So, are we gonna go and find a gate? Um. Oh, pirates attacking. Or pirates. Pirates. Uh, they're quite big. Oh crap. They're quite shooting me. <laughs> I was wondering what they're shooting at. It's like, there's nothing here, and it's not quite going Oh, man, here. there's so many of them, and they're big. Yeah, I'm out of here. Screw this. Yeah, well, all of our friendly alliance ones all disappeared. <laughs> they're like, you know what? I I'm taking the day off. A gate, huh? Yeah, we can go to a gate. Uh, <laughs> which gate do you want to go to? I don't know. Pick self? One. Let's go to the self gate. Yep, south sounds good. Unless that goes to one of the pirates. There's south. Uh, no, doesn't go near the pirate. Oh, I found north and south. Wait. Do I not know what south is? Wait, there's only... Oh, there's the north gate too. Never mind. It's tiny. Uh, the north gate's like one jump away. How close are you to the gate? Are you going north or south? South. Uh, I'm quite close. I must be in front of you. Oh yeah, I see you. I'm faster than you? No, probably not. Uh, probably not max speed. My ship can't the, the guns are too powerful for the ship where it starts reversing me. <laughs> With full thrusters ahead. I have to like use my booster to fight it. It's good that there's recoil there. Oh, oh, mostly empty, just a few of the ships. I might have gotten distracted. When this big piece breaks, I'll come. I'm hoping there's a module in it. Oh. Oh, module. What'd you get? Oh, and another. Uh, or one of those a turret, sorry. Oh, reverse reserve for something else. Hey. Can I shoot it? No. Oh crap, this is not good for me. I don't know why I'm stupid, but I shot out a pirate. <laughs> They're actually really close to the gate. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, I'm not rich like you. I don't know if I can afford the 50. be like a convoy waiting on the other side to kill me. Whoop. There we are. There you are. Oh yeah, this is a really empty system. So, south I guess, I guess. Southwest. <laughs> I don't have enough power. I heard you building. Uh, but anyways, guys and girls, um, 
over time, uh, you know, Togi and I will explore a bit here and there, and uh, we'll probably mine more than anything. Um, I might build up my ship a wee bit, but my designs aren't anything, you know, elaborate or amazing looking, you know. I like just doing smaller, silly ships, so I probably have to go bigger. Downside with this game is pretty much you kind of have to go bigger because if you don't, you kind of get owned. Um, that's just how things work. But uh, over time, we'll mine, get more resources, things like that, and then we'll do a lot of Let's Play. We'll catch up. Uh, Togi won't be always there for the Let's Plays. Uh, he will... You know, he, he might not even be on whatnot, but we will definitely do more Let's Plays together over time. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be interesting. So please don't forget. Oh, here you go. There's the adventure. So this guy's I've talked to before. Uh, what's happening around here? So he talks about the lore and stuff about the game, a bit of the lore, the event that happened. And uh, basically uh, uh, it screwed up space. Sort of like, um, what was that, uh, the Omega Directive in Voyager? That's the one. The atomic particle things that can destroy everything, subspace. Yeah, 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 preventing them from warping. Yes. There you go. So he gave you a module you can get from him, so that's kind of handy. I still don't have enough power. <laughs> This system is actually really cool looking. I like the look of it. It's just it's got a lot of meteors right at the entrance and stuff. Ooh, yeah, quite nice. No, oh, I gotta change my guns. <laughs> or start blasting them. But anyways, guys and girls, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. See you guys. <laughs>